Okay, today's project is to put a talon grip, the rubberized talon grip, on the new P365 from Sig Sauer. So I have shot this gun with the standard grip, the way it comes, and it is good quality, excellent, um, excellent stippling that Sig Sauer has provided, sort of that E2 style grip. However, even with that type of grip for a small carry gun, I really do prefer to have that rubberized Talon grip on it. So the good folks at Talon have sent me the grip and I'm going to install it on there and I'm gonna show you how to do it just in case you're not familiar with the process because I know the P365 is going to be a very, very popular gun. And so there might be a lot of new users and new shooters, new gun owners and things like that that are not familiar with how to install a Talon grip. So first thing you do is you wipe it down thoroughly with the alcohol wipe that Talon provides. Now in this case, it's not terribly dirty, but you just want to make sure you get any dirt and grime off. And mostly what you want to get off is any kind of oils skin oil or gun oil certainly anything that's going to prevent the adhesive from sticking so the better job you do cleaning and preparing the longer your application is going to last the more you're going to like it the other thing we typically advise is to take the slide off of the gun in this case uh, i'm not going to do that because policies on YouTube now are so confusing that I don't want to make it look like I'm doing any gunsmithing work <laughs> by taking the slide off the gun and doing something to it. So uh, such ridiculous paranoia is what we're reduced to, I'm afraid. But typically, you know, obviously before you do any kind of work with your handgun, especially if you are new to handgun ownership you want to be very very certain that the gun is unloaded which in this case I have done you want to remove the magazine and like I said typically you want to take off the slide also because number one it just makes it easier to work with all right so that's pretty clean I'm also going to use this last little bit oops wrong one also going to use this last little bit of alcohol wipe on the base plate of the 12 round magazine because I do also have a Talon rubber grip to go around this base plate extension right here. In this case with this small gun I'm just going to go ahead and peel the backer off of the entire grip. Sometimes I'll cut it halfway. This one all appears to be pretty straightforward so peel off the backer and without touching it unnecessarily. Lay it in place and just touching it down. And now I'm gonna move around the back or something like that. Okay, move around the back. See that it looks centered. Looking nice, looking nice. Okay, that's fitting really well. Now, in this case, there's no cutouts for any kind of logo. So we're going to cover up the words Sig Sauer that are molded into the grip. So then I work around the front here. And this is particularly interesting. There's a little, let me see if you can see it right there. See that little slit right above my thumb? That is to accommodate this grip, the finger groove area of this grip. So we want to also try to ensure that that is laying where it should there. And I'm going to lift up this front edge a little bit. Tuck this under. That is standard procedure. Next step is to heat it up. I use a hair dryer on high heat and I heat it for a couple of minutes until it's 
just about too hot to touch. Oh, got a little bit of a little bit of air going on right there. So we want to smush that down. Now heat it up. Okay, good and hot, and now smushing it down. This is very, very important. This is what makes it get down into the texture and really, really adhere to the polymer. Okay, heat it one more time. You don't have to watch. Let me address a question or two that I expect people would have because I've been asked them a number of times. And that is, I guess, first and foremost, why would you want to put a talon grip on the pistol to begin with? Because in this case, Sig Sauer has provided a nice texture. I do like the texture of this pistol. However, there are some areas like up in here, up at the top of the back strap, and up in here. So quite a bit of area, actually, where there is no texture. It's just smooth. So this is going to greatly increase the textured area of the pistol. Probably it's going to double it, I would think. Number two, it's a different type of texture. This rubber, this granulated rubber, is just real tacky and sticky to the hand. So it really does help. Another reason is because it's a carry gun. This rubber feels a lot better against your skin, and it's a lot less harmful to your clothing than some aggressive textures on polymer. And perhaps last, this is a small 9mm, and if you put some you know, hot carry ammo or even some plus P ammo in this gun and shoot it, it's going to jump around. <laughs> it did for me. And I find that with this full talon rubber grip, I just have better control of the gun when I shoot it. And it's about the, it's about the least expensive and easiest thing you can do yourself, quickly and easily, to your new gun. So when you go to talon grips, I'm afraid to post links now, even below in the description. But if you go to talongungrips.com, which is real easy to find, make sure you use the discount code Justin O because that will get you 10% off of your entire order. So go there, order all the, all the grips you need, use the discount code Justin O and get 10% off from the good people at Talon. And now, as a bonus, We'll leave that beautiful gun laying there, and I'm going to put the grip on this extension magazine base plate. This is the 12-round magazine. It is optional. And I'm going to start trying to outsmart myself here if I can. Start right here where I have something to line up to. All right. Okay. See, if this was a silk stocking, that seam is just right in the perfect place. Okay, same rules apply. Here, we want to make sure we smush it down good after we heat it. Okay, there we go. P365 talonized.